Good morning guys, rise and shine. I'm here in Cairns, Cairns, Cairns. Today's a bit of a big little blah, 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 blah. I'm still so sleepy. So today's a pretty big adventure. Wait, where the heck is the elevator? Okay. I am just on my way down to the buffet and then we are heading out for eight. AM. We're going to the butterfly sanctuary, I think, if that's what it's called, and then followed by the crocodilies. This is my outfit. I'm wearing like a dress. I'm going to take this off once it gets a little bit warmer. Because we're going to like a butterfly sanctuary, I thought I would dress a little bit nicer. Check out my sock. Yeah, okay, my dead cat flew away and it actually died. So now I have a freaking sock on there to prevent wind. So the buffet in the hotel was a no-go. It was like literally the ingredients for diarrhea. So we made our way down to Karanda, which is about a 30, 40 minute drive from Cairns. And this place is actually really, really cute. It's like nine o'clock, so it's pretty early and things are really quiet. We just had breakfast at the Queen Bee Cafe here. It was a really good deal for like $11, like not that expensive. And it's a family run business. So like next door, there's actually a bee store. Look at all this honey. Yeah. Those who know me know I love honey. Oh, it's ah, so good. So like at home, my dad buys like these buckets of honey and it's so freaking delicious. We are now walking towards the uh, butterfly sanctuary and I wanted to show you guys this freaking plane crash. That's so random. Like it's not even advertised or anything, but as we're walking, we just look to the right and we're like, is that a plane? Whoa, that looks old. I really don't want to know how many animals live in there. Before the butterfly sanctuary, we're going, we are at the bird sanctuary. And they're everywhere. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yes, yes. Hello. The yellow one, Zach, he likes So this is what happens when you come to the bird sanctuary. There's literally bird on everyone. We have two birds over here on Emma. I have a little bird, Lucy. She's she's somewhere in my hair. Oh, she's moving around. This is too funny. This guy's trying to escape over here. He's like, I've had enough. I wanna get out of here. So in the sanctuary, they have over 300 birds and over 100 different types of species. On my shoulder here, we have little Lucy. She has gotten really comfortable with my hair. I had some necklaces around my neck and I had to take them off because she was chewing on them. And apparently she just gets in there, snuggles in, and then just sticks around for the entire day. So I'm gonna be checking out the rest of the birds here with little Lucy. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Huh. Little kisses! This is literally making me so happy right now. Today is literally an animal wildlife day. We have so much going on today and I'm just probably gonna turn off the camera here and get some b-roll. Little montage, bird montage. Yeah, 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 coming up right now. Who is it? What birdie is it? You guys gotta stop by to this bird sanctuary. It literally makes me so freaking happy. And if you guys are 
maybe afraid of birds this is a good place to kind of conquer your fears because there's nothing but birds but that is it here and we are now moving over to the butterfly sanctuary and right next door is the butterfly sanctuary ah how exciting so i'm pretty sure you like you guys can take a tour bus or just drive yourself up which is a lot cheaper going through the entrance oh my god it's just like the bird sanctuary. They're everywhere. They are. Do they land on you? Uh, sometimes, sometimes not. They is don't. it true that if you touch their wings, they die? No. Okay. Basically, but what it will do is at best it will shorten the life expectancy. At worst, if the wing gets broken, then the butterfly can't fly. I always think it's quite, quite remarkable that you hang upside down to have a baby on a piece of yeah. That's so interesting. And then how long does it take for the eggs to hatch? Okay, that again varies from species to species, depending on the size of the egg. I think cruises take about four to five days, and it's also affected by temperature and day length. Tape on each dish with a few letters and numbers. The letters are the abbreviation of the species and the number is the date the egg was collected. These are all BW, which are the bird wings, which is that beautiful green butterfly. So when did these guys hatch? They would have hatched today, like Whoa. this morning. Yeah. So that is a baby caterpillar. That's a baby red lacewing caterpillar. What's like the time frame? Okay, from egg to pupa, which is the yeah. teenage pubescent stage. Okay. It's um, somewhere between three and four weeks for hours. Okay. Uh, then in the pupa stage, anywhere from, say, seven days in summertime up to four weeks in winter depending on the species and the size oh wow all right guys so you see these little caterpillars this is the before and then given a couple of weeks it'll turn into a butterfly so are the spikes poisonous no no they're the not caterpillar is poisonous but only if you eat it are all of them poisonous nope Okay. Only the ones that are actually consuming a poisonous plant. Because yes. a caterpillar is eating a poisonous plant, they yes. become then poisonous. Yes. Oh. Wait, so what is that black? Is that poop? Yeah. That's big poop. Oh. We've got Hercules moth caterpillars. They're one of the biggest moths in the world. And I've got one today. It's on the shade cloth there. Their caterpillars have poops that size. First time I saw one poop, you should I did not it. know caterpillars had big poops. Bum out. So, where did you guys get these? We bred them. Silk is actually caterpillars' it's fit for saliva. Okay. They secrete the fluid, it dries to make this amazing silk, and they use leaves of their host plant or something in their environment to wrap around themselves. Absolutely. So, we keep them in here. We always hope to get a, a fit male and a female at the same time. If we have a girl and no boy after a day or two in the bird cage, out into the wild. So these are all moths. They're actually Hercules moths. And then when they come out, they look like this. Look at that. It is the biggest moth in Australia. And this one's actually a male. Tip to tip. So this one probably be about 15 centimeters. Yeah. The larger size specimens are the largest specimen ever recorded was found down in this so here we have some behind the scene footage. This is obviously cocoons full of caterpillars. And then here is where they hatch. So these guys are actually just drying their wings and they said by the end of the day, they'll be able to release them into the sanctuary. Some of these are in the process of coming out. Look at this guys, like that is amazing. So these guys are just drying their wings. This place is filled with butterflies. It is a must stop destination. It's absolutely stunning in here and the different types of butterflies and moths, it's just like crazy. You literally get the full spiel. I'm just like a little overwhelmed right now because I'm so into this. Oh, and they're just flying around. This place is so freaking cute. I can't get enough. I am such a sucker for wildlife. And apparently if you wear the right colored clothing and you stand really still, they'll just naturally land on you. But it's so freaking cool. Literally everywhere you look, you will always see butterflies moving, flying around. What a cool place to visit.
And then, unfortunately, when butterflies pass away, they are added to this collection. These ones are my favorite. I don't know what they're called, but they're absolutely stunning. And there's just so many more. Like, this is such a wonderful place. If you guys have the opportunity to visit and do it, it is so beautiful here. Look at all these different butterflies. This is crazy. Those are huge. And it just goes on and on and on and on. Oh, and here we have some moths. Will your face remain the same?